Welcome to Mrs J's Book Nook. Today I'm going to read a story. It is beautifully illustrated. It's called The World That We Want by Kim Michelle Toft. It won an Environment Award for Children's Literature through the Wilderness Society. It was first published in 2004 through the University of Queensland Press. Copyright, text and illustrations, 2004, Kim Michelle Toft. This is the air that circles the world that we want. This is the forest that filters the air that circles the world that we want. This is the river that weaves through the forest that filters the air that circles the world that we want. This is the mangrove that follows the river that weaves through the forest that filters the air that circles the world that we want. This is the beach that meets the mangrove that follows the river that weaves through the forest that filters the air that circles the world that we want. This is the tide pool that lies on the beach that meets the mangrove, that follows the river that weaves through the forest, that filters the air, that circles the world that we want. This is the reef that feeds the tide pool that lies on the beach that meets the mangrove that follows the river that weaves through the forest that filters the air that circles the world that we want. This is the atoll that grows from the reef that feeds the tide pool that lies on the beach that meets the mangrove that follows the river that weaves through the forest, that filters the air, that circles the world that we want. This is the ocean that shapes the atoll, that grows from the reef, that feeds the tide pool, that lies on the beach, that meets the mangrove, that follows the river that weaves through the forest, that filters the air, that circles the world that we want. Now I'm just going to open up this double page and show you how all of those environments come together and help to support each other. Now let's go back through the book and have a look at how many creatures you could see, how many that you know, 
and hopefully you may learn the names of some new creatures. So here on the first page we have up here in the corner is a red-tailed tropic bird. You can see its long red tail up to the corner. And next to that is a really large heavy seabird called a booby just sitting here. Over here we have a frigate bird and underneath that bird is a sea eagle. And they are the second largest bird of prey in Australia. And who can tell me what that one is? That's right, it's an Australian pelican. And that is the largest of the eight species of pelican found around the world. Next, we're in the forest. And down in the corner over here is a really large animal called a cassowary. Up here is a spotted cuscus. They're really shy. They sleep most of the day and then they move slowly through the rainforest at night eating fruit and leaves. And there are a couple, one of them's a little bit camouflaged, but the Ulysses butterflies. There's one there and one just over here. And who can see the green python that's just sitting next to the butterfly? There's also a red-eyed tree frog right down here. Now we're in the river and I am sure that most of you will be able to name these fish. They are of course rainbow fish. And over here is a sea shell turtle just poking its head out of the water. And right next to that is a little kingfisher. Does anybody know what this one is? It's a water dragon and it's a large lizard. They can run really fast as well as being a strong swimmer. And the crayfish just here. They move across land and they can swim through the water as well. This double page just shows those environments, how they all meet up. Into the mangrove. So these are some striped butterfish. And this here is called a royal spoonbill. We have a fiddler crab and a mud skipper up here. And who can see what's right at the bottom of the page? Just lying very still. It's a saltwater crocodile. Onto the beach. We we'll start over here with this silver gull. And then there are three green sea turtles. And some scallops. And this here is a Portuguese man of war. You might know them as blue bottles. And there's a little ghost crab that's camouflaged in the sand. Just down here.
and then we go to the tide pool and I think you can all spot straight away a few things that you might know. A blue ringed octopus. And the sea star. And these down here, they're called blennies. And they're small fish and they have a slimy skin rather than scales. And that's another look at those ecosystems together. Now we're into the reef and I'm sure you all know what these fish are called. That's right, they're clownfish. And this funny looking thing is a lionfish. Down the bottom here is staghorn coral. And can anybody see any sea slugs? Yep, just up here. Now we're in the atoll. And I think you can all see the blue spotted stingray. There is a giant clam sitting down the bottom here. And a couple of trumpet shells. And these birds are called black crested tern. They're sometimes called sea swallows because of their forked tail, if you can see there. And this one down here is a pipefish. Ah, and the ocean. And I'm sure most of you will know what this is. A big humpback whale and I can see a calf underneath. There's some bottlenose dolphin. And these fish here, they are quite fierce. They're called barracudas and they're, they're large. They don't look large there compared to the dolphin and the whale, but they're quite a large fish. And they move around in packs right through to the reef and that they feed on other fish. We have a marlin down here. And this one, this gives it a clue. It's a type of shark. That's right, it's a hammerhead shark. So if I just open up those double pages again, you might be able to look and see some of those animals and creatures that we just talked about. 